out how to manage your money can be an uphill battle. That a lot of us happen to start a little too late in life. According to the Employees Benefit Research Institute, more Americans than ever have no confidence in their ability to afford a comfortable retirement. News Channel 8's Adrian Pedersen talked to an expert who says taking the mystery out of money starts at a very young age. DJ Hall's daughter is only two and a half years old, but like most parents, he's already thinking about her future. I think it's really important for kids to learn early on about money and that you, know, you can't get something every time you go to the store. Although he hasn't mapped out this little one's financial future quite yet, he knows he wants her to be more informed than he was. There was no finance classes even offered where I went to school growing up. Um, and so, yeah, you, you basically just trust the advisor to say, oh, I want something that's not high risk, but is not low risk. Carrie Siegel, a retired businessman and fellow dad, wrote the book, Why Didn't They Teach Me This in School? When he realized most teens and young adults aren't prepared to make financial decisions. What happens is if they don't learn it and they go out there in the world, they can get into real trouble right away. Siegel says taking care of your finances doesn't have to feel like learning a foreign language. Here are three things he recommends teaching your kids early. Always live below your means. Also, develop, plan, track, and analyze a budget. And once you start working, take 50% of every salary increase and save and invest that. Hall isn't quite ready to talk to his daughter about stocks and salaries, but he does want to start taking the mystery out of money. The loans that I have from going to medical school and those types of things that, you know, it's important to really think about, you know, how does that play out and how does it work? And, you know, in the long term, you know, how do you pay those things off? I'm Adrian Pedersen, News Channel 8. And so you'll also recommend using things that your children can relate to, like buying snacks at a baseball game.